lawsuit now filed by two former New Mexico State men's basketball players at the center of hazing allegations. Those allegations forcing the program to cancel the remainder of their season back in February. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Andy Morgan. That lawsuit, which is 28 pages long, is providing new details on multiple alleged assaults by teammates of the two players filing the lawsuit, one of which allegedly taking place on a team bus on the way to UTEP before a game. We have team coverage for you tonight. We begin with KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver and Colin, that lawsuit I mentioned 28 pages long, really tough to read. Yeah, no doubt, Andy. This lawsuit providing a ton of clarity as to why New Mexico State shut down its basketball season back in February due to what they termed at the time hazing allegations. The New Mexico State Board of Regents and these five men, former head coach Greg Heyer, former associate head coach Dominique Taylor, and then these three former players, Deshondre Washington, Dr. Bradley, and Kim Aiken Jr. are all named as defendants in a lawsuit filed today by former players Shakiru Odunewu, Deuce Benjamin, and William Benjamin. Deuce's father, who is also a former Aggies basketball player in the NMSU Athletics Hall of Fame, as well as the boys basketball coach at Las Cruces High School. Now, no criminal charges have been filed in the case at this time, but it has been referred to the New Mexico Attorney General for possible criminal charges. The lawsuit stems from the February 10th hazing allegations filed with NMSU police that ultimately canceled the 2022-23 season and resulted in hires firing back on February 14th. It's clear from this lawsuit that what happened is much more serious than hazing. There are allegations of sexual assault and rape against the three players, Aiken, Bradley, and Washington, and sheer negligence by the Aggies coaches Hyer and Taylor. For example, when Taylor was informed about one incident, he allegedly laughed and said, quote, what do you want me to do? The lawsuit alleges these incidents began in the summer of 2022 and continued until this February when a report again was filed with NMSU police and resulted in the season's shutdown. It also alleges that NMSU coaches were aware of these accusations as far back as November 12th, 2022. Our Shelby Cap has been combing through the lawsuit tonight and has more on these heinous accusations. Shelby. Colin, the lawsuit details numerous alleged incidents of sexual assault and harassment against player Shaq and Deuce by three NMSU basketball players. Some of the worst incidents occurring during away games and a warning for our viewers. The details in this lawsuit are graphic. The lawsuit filed by NMSU basketball players William Deuce Benjamin and Shakiru Odenewu, also known as Shaq, alleges that Shaq was the victim of unwanted physical and sexual contact, citing an incident during a bus ride with the team to UTEP when players Aiken Bradley in Washington allegedly tackled Shaq, pinned him down and, quote, slapped his bare buttocks and he felt fingers inserted into his anus. Now, the lawsuit alleges that no one did anything to stop the attack and coaches were in the front on their phones, but one coach turned around and yelled out quote stop playing around i think our lawsuit really outlines where we believe this school was deficient in handling this where the coaching staff was deficient and where we believe they both acted inappropriately and failed to act the lawsuit alleging that from the summer of 2022 to February 2023 that there were multiple alleged incidents in the locker room that occurred that were of sexual nature against both Shaq and Deuce. The lawsuit also alleging that during an away game, Deuce was pulled into a hotel room where some players were with young women, alleging that Washington, quote, exposed Deuce's backside and forcefully grabbed his scrotum. The lawsuit says that Deuce's father noticed a change in his son, and when Deuce broke down and told him what happened, his dad reached out to Coach Hire and the athletic director, Mario Mocha, but the lawsuit says his calls were not returned. Now, Deuce's father, William Benjamin, commenting on the lawsuit against not only the three players, but the coaches and the Board of Regents. You know, bring awareness to, to, to the importance of, 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 of this thing not happening. You know, that's the, that's the goal, that, to, to, to let people know that, the, you know, the behavior wasn't, you know, wasn't right, and we, we just don't want to see something like this happen again to anybody. Now that lawsuit saying that coach Heyer and Taylor acted recklessly and with deliberate indifference and disregard for the safety of Deuce and Shaq and that Shaq and Deuce were in constant fear of continued or even worse sexual batteries. Colin. 
Thank you, Shelby. And according to the suit, the coaching staff again emboldened and empowered Aiken Bradley in Washington by turning a blind eye to the alleged abuse. It also alleges that at least one other player and staff member were subjected to the same type of abuse by the three players. Additionally, the lawsuit says the coaching staff were aware of prior inappropriate behavior by Aiken against other students. Effectively, it paints a picture of negligence within the NMC NMSU program, not unlike what former Chancellor Dan Arvisu described in February when he said the culture was infected. When asked if his perception of his alma mater had changed because of these incidents, this is what William Benjamin Sr. had to say. It's just disappointing. You know, it's just very disappointing um, um, that we have to that we have to talk about this and go through this, you know. Um, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's really all I can say, comment on, on, on that. It's just, it's just disappointing. They both acted inappropriately and failed to act. So um, had they handled it correctly, we very well may not be where we're at right now. KTSM has reached out to the coaches Hire and Taylor as well as the players Aiken, Bradley, and Washington for comments. So far, Bradley, the only one to respond, referring us to his attorney who we have not been able to contact at this time. Athletic Director Mario Mocha also declined to comment when he was reached by phone this afternoon. New Mexico State University has at large, though, responding to the lawsuit with this statement, quote, while NMSU does not comment on pending litigation, we want to assure everyone that this issue is being taken seriously. As we announced earlier this year, the university is working with Greenberg Traurig to look into the allegations. The statement can Continued. Their work is underway and running in parallel to our own internal investigation into this matter. End quote. And I want to reiterate one more time, no criminal charges have been filed at this time, but it has been referred to the New Mexico Attorney General for possible criminal charges. We do expect there to be more twists and turns in this story moving forward, as there have been for months. Later in sports, we hear from William Benjamin again on how this has had an effect on his son Deuce and what this might mean for the futures of the three players named in the lawsuit. Guys.